Whoa. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> Foot Down is my favorite game in the whole world, period. Foot Down is nearly impossible to cheat at. It's exciting for bystanders to watch. And it invariably results in laughter. <laughs> Getting heated. Best of all, Foot Down improves your bike control skills. Oh my God. Seth Strait rotor ramming over here. <laughs> the rules are amazingly simple. To play Foot Down, you start with any amount of people riding their bikes in a circle. Then the match begins. Oh! oh. <laughs> if you put your foot down, you're out. If you go out of bounds, you're out. The last person standing is the winner. Games don't get much simpler than that. <laughs> Some players use the strategy of staying out of trouble, while the others fall victim to their own attacks. <laughs> others play more aggressively. Oh! Oh! That was like time. You're gonna have to slow mo replay that one. No matter what strategy you use, the object of the game remains the same, and whose foot touched the ground first is the only thing that matters. But there are a few versions of foot down with some interesting rules. For instance, in regulation foot down, you should leave your bike in the ring after being eliminated. It then becomes an obstacle for the remaining players. Body checking and deliberate ramming are allowed in my circle of friends. But understandably, some people refuse to play this kind of foot down for fear of bike damage. I can recall a couple of tweaked rotors and bent spokes in games past, but nothing you wouldn't expect from a day on some real mountain bike trails. Today, we're gonna play 10 rounds of full contact foot down and crown a champion. But first, we're going to build something. I wanna turn this XE hardtail into a foot down bike. While that may seem like an extravagant waste of a mountain bike, it'll all be reversible. This project is just for fun and experimentation. For starters, a good foot down bike should be bare bones, as it'll spend most of its time pedaling around a small port. Removing the gears will eliminate a lot of mechanical complexity from this bike, reducing the number of things that can go wrong with it. Since I'm not trying to spend any money on this thing, we'll use what we have to hack it into a single speed. I'll remove the outer chainring in the front, as well as the cassette in the rear. I do have this chain tensioner just in case, but we're going to attempt to get the tension right without it. The chain tension's a little tight, but it'll work in and be just fine for a hacked foot down bike. Since this bike came with mechanical disc brakes, we can use this special lever to engage both front and rear at the same time. By having one lever for both brakes, the rider can enjoy full stopping power while using their other hand for self defense, or to wield a firearm if they're playing Civil War reenactment foot down. Finally, we'll install a bell to signify the start of each round. A few little details and our foot down bike is done. It has predictable gearing, very few vulnerabilities, and of course that dual lever, which also makes it great for games like bike polo. But how will it perform in the ring? Our foot down bike seems up to the task. We have here four bloodthirsty opponents ready to do battle. In 10 short rounds, one of them will be crowned the champion. The stakes have just been raised. Everybody's just trying to. Oh! Oh, they're all down!
can't believe I left. Oh, that would have been bad. That was tough. Oh, that was tough. Seth playing he dirty. He smashed the steel into my fist. You know, someone's taking your hand off. You used to talk about it. You can just plunge his right, eye out. Round four. I, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> hey, what's going on? <laughs> that was awesome. Oh, 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 Seth straight rotor ramming over here. <laughs> oh, 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 here comes Kevin with the aggressive move. Oh, counter punch. Whoa, oh, yeah, yes, what a move. What a move. And the and two go down at once. <laughs> oh! Oh! Hey, that was an illegal move. Yes, yeah, sir. And there's the bell. Someone else. Oh, 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 he's out. Oh, 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 he got fancy. He got fancy. Jared on the board. Wow, Woo! Go, go right. Go right. Oh, no. Oh, oh. Oh, shit. Who's it going to be? Oh, my God. Oh, aggressive move. And Jared is coming back. At this point in the game, Kevin was locked in for first place. So the 10th round was a tiebreaker for second. Oh! Oh man. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you'll try playing foot down. It's guaranteed to make you laugh. I think all the tire marks are from Kevin. <laughs> oh, I didn't do this. I didn't do all these. Yeah, you did. If you already play foot down, please share the details of your version of the game below. Do you allow body checking, ramming, weapons? Let me know where you draw the line. Thanks for riding with me today and I'll see you next time.